Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavec Movies. My name is John and I've just taken delivery today of this. The City of the Living Dead 4K from Arrow. I'll get into this and we'll see what's going on. I really hope this is as good as I think it's going to be. So I don't need my scalpel today, nurse. Yes, deep joy. Now you're going to know, because I've said this before, when I ordered this off Arrow, and a lot of people have been caught out the same way, they cancelled our orders. And then you could order them straight away after they said it was out of print for like 10 seconds. I went and reordered it and I had to pay not £4.50 postage, which I think is still quite big, bear in mind it's like second class, to £6, which I think is a bit of a joke. Now, when I said to them, I did message them a couple of times. I said, oh, it's out of print, sorry and all that. Sorry for your um, distress. And I went, well, actually, it's it's not out of print because I just went and reordered it. So, you know, but they never got back with on that, which I thought was a bit of a, a thing, but never mind. So here we go. This is the first time I'm going to see this one. And of course it's upside down. Why wouldn't it be? Look at this. Lovely thick box. I've got, I've got to say it. Now, what I will say about that whole debacle, ah, actually it's got one of the ones where it's got that slip cover on. Yeah, you're right, on the box. I will be going downstairs and I will be taking you through this on a like an overhead shot. So let's get into this. Nurse Scalpel, thank you very much. I like it when they do that, actually. So you have a slip cover. It's not the thickest of slip covers, but it doesn't mind because it protects the box. The box is, these boxes are beautiful. Now, I'm saying that uh, I got the hump with Arrow when I did this, but what I think I'll do now, I don't mind getting stuff in the sale from Arrow, but I think actually I'm not going to reorder too much from Arrow unless it looks like it's going to go out of print immediately. I have still got the Blu ray of this, as you know, the old Blu ray box. This is uh, so lovely, although you can't hear that, I would imagine. Lovely box there. Lovely presentation. Now, out of Full C's big four movies, this is the one that looks the worst. Now, by worst, I mean it just doesn't seem to brush up very well. It never has done. There's that new artwork. But this is the artwork for me. This is absolutely, I love this artwork. It's up the pre suit as well. Yeah, if that goes up in the house, like a bone duke, because Deborah wouldn't allow us. That would be the one. Actually, that would look great in, the, in the, the house somewhere. I'll work on that one. So here's your booklet. Now, what I'll do is, in the meantime, when I've, I'm going to edit this video together, I will go and have a look at the previous one and see how close this booklet is to the other one. Because there's every chance it could be exactly the same booklet with a few things upgraded, like probably the 4K restoration at the back. City of the Living Dead. Is presented in its original aspect ratio of 1.85. Now, it's, this is the only one out of the four that's 1.85, the rest of them are 2.35. And HDR 10 and Dolby Vision with English mono stereo and 5.1 Italian mono, mono sound on 5.1 and Italian mono sound. The original 35mm negative, well, was scanned in 4K resolution and restored at Cinema Communication Services in Rome. They seem to be a good place. The film is graded with HDR 10 and Dolby Vision at Fidelity in Motion, New York. So here is the, the 4K. There's the 4K disc. Ah, yes, good. You do get the original artwork on here. So I'm happy about that because in this set, I do think that this original artwork should feature. Because that's what it's all about in it, the original stuff. But it's so iconic. It's not as if it's just something that you think, that's all right. I just love this artwork. That to me screams video nasty. Beautiful. Yeah, I think these are the same ones. I think they're, they're double side as well. So these are the same ones that we're with. Yeah, they definitely are. Lobby cards that we're with. The previous Blu-ray. Shame that they do that. They could do some more, but... You know, is what it is again. 
he's just passed away very recently. Giovanni Giovanni Lamberto Regici. Here's the other side. There's some extreme going here. That's, a, that's such a absolute amazing go. And you wonder why you got banned? This isn't the section one video, and that's the I do believe it's because obviously it was heavily cut on even on the VHS. I think this is a section two, I think, at this point. Sometimes the more you look into the sections, the more you, you get wrong. I'll put a little thing up there if I'm, if I'm wrong. I do think that this is the, the section uh, section two it is. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go, I'm going to have a look at this. I'm going to see what it looks like. I'm going to see what the picture quality is like compared to the, the Blu-ray. So I'll come back. I'll tell you what I think of it. I'll put some screenshots on it. Do bear in mind that my screenshots do show some, some uh, HDR on my phone does transfer over. So they might seem a bit overblown. But I'll tell you if I think that, that that's happening. And yeah, so I'll be back and I'll tell you exactly what I think of this in two minutes. But two seconds. But one second. So I'll give you a closer look at these two boxes. There's a Blu-ray there. Put that on one side for the moment. There's a slip case for this one. Nice thick box. You only get the Blu-ray in here. Sorry, the 4K in here. There's a box there. Lovely and sturdy. I've taken the poster out. You get your poster here, which I'll show you both sides now. So glad to get the original artwork here, as well as this newly commissioned artwork. That's a brilliant, brilliant picture, that. So iconic. That's a new one there. I mean, it's iconic scenes from, from the movie, but I do prefer the other one. I think it's got too much nostalgia for me to not have it in the set. The booklets, as I said, it is the same as the other one. You've only got that last page in here, which talks about the 4K restoration. Was it? Everything else is just exactly the same. You know, you've got that there. Probably that as that as well is probably the only thing new in there, unfortunately. But it's a great booklet. Full of some great, great uh, iconic scenes from this and the got some it's a great movie, although it doesn't make much sense, especially towards the end. And your cards are the same in both sets. Like I showed before. Close up that that's a brilliant disc. Brilliant artwork for the disc. The extras on here are exactly the same as the Blu-ray, but with one difference, I think. On a first look through, I've had I've spotted a difference on them. So that's the 4K. This is the original Blu-ray. Now this is a, an amazing box set because it's got amazing package, should I say. It's got all the, the iconic pictures on that you know. It's funny how they don't seem to put any back art on these anymore. It's a bit strange. Now on here, if I can see it, there's an extra on here. I'm going to show you a little clip of the, the thing. It says, Carlo of the Dead, I think it's called. And it's a special feature on here. And it wasn't as on this, the new 4K, as far as I can see. It looks like about an 18-minute documentary from uh, with Carlo de Major, who is who's actually the, the star in here. It was... And it just isn't, as far as I can see, it isn't on the new 4K. Everything else is exactly the same. So actually the new 4K does miss off one extra that you have got on here. So don't get rid of this one if you've got it. But I wouldn't get rid of it because the artwork in here is absolutely amazing. So just to run through this one very quickly. I've turned, this is the alternative artwork you've got here, which is not too bad actually. Although that's not featured on the new one, so that's kind of exclusive artwork i did put this thing that i got gifted to me from the old uh, window box uh, version and i've got i'm stuck that on there them cards are still sealed there's your the artwork on there great artwork 
I did flip that disc over there. You get in here, you get your booklet. That's brilliant artwork, that's brilliant artwork, got to say. Just like I say, it's just exactly the same as the other one, apart from the very ending or the end part, which talks about the restoration on there is different to the other one. And you do get the alternative art. You get the, the poster in here, which has got another iconic alternative art. I think it's a US art. Yeah, it's a US art here. Gates of Hell. The dead shall rise and walk the earth. Seems like you hear that all the time. And you've got that original video nasty artwork there. Absolutely brilliant. So that's the differences between the old Blu-ray and the new 4K. So thoughts on this one compared to the previous Blu-ray. I'll be showing the screenshots and the, the first screenshot you see will be the Blu-ray and the second one will be the 4K. Now, when I put this on, I'm going to have the screenshots running when I'm talking about this. I put this on and I was immediately could see a difference in here. Now, the main, the main difference I could see was with the green. I thought the green on the new 4K, it looked much better. It looked like it's been handled much better. I was really surprised to see that the previous Blu-ray had a lot more green than I previously remembered. And this, don't get us wrong, this movie has always been grainy. Now, what, what you will find in the interior shots in this movie, it looks absolutely spectacular. But on the, its exterior ones, for some reason, they decided to put this mist, like spray this mist in every sort of frame that was on the outside door shots in the in the morning, sorry, in the daytime and the nighttime. And it kind of does disrupt the picture a little bit. If this mist didn't exist, I think this picture, this picture on here would look a lot better. This picture has always looked a little bit kind of fuzzy with this extra mist in this in the air uh, to deal with when it's actually getting remastered. I would imagine it would be a nightmare to do. So do know that the exterior shots, when the mist is there, don't look as good as you would imagine. But this is a solid upgrade for me. I think this has looked this looks spectacular, especially in the exterior shots, especially at night time. The night time shots just look absolutely fantastic. This is how this movie should look. Unfortunately, like I say, with that mist, it does play havoc with the picture at times. I don't think the grain, the, the grain on the Blu-ray did look quite noisy, actually, when I, when I look back on it. Mind you, it's always looked like that, especially on the VHS, was absolutely awful for that. But this, this one here handles it as best as it can. So do know that when you originally go into this movie, you might think, hey, it doesn't look that much different, but with, stick with it and you will find that this is a much sharper picture than the Blu-ray was. I think they've done a spectacular job with this and they have definitely remastered this to the best of its extent. I do think there's probably nowhere to go with this one. I think that we've reached the zenith of City of the Living Dead. So for me, the picture quality on here is the star of the show. It does look absolutely amazing for what this movie looks like. But like I say, exteriors, not so good. But that's just inherent in the movie. You can't get rid of that. And the the sound on here is exactly the same as the, the Blu-ray, even though I thought this sound it sounded a little bit better. Maybe it's been tweaked, tweaked a little bit, the 5.1 surround. It's got a really good soundtrack. It sounds really ultra crisp and clear. I mean, the soundtrack to here is fantastic anyway. But I do think it seems like it's had an upgrade. It probably hasn't, but to me, it sounded a little bit better. So the extras are exactly the same as I said, unfortunately. One featurette, I don't know for whatever reason, might be a bit of a rights issue to do with high-rise productions. Not too sure why that is, but you have got it on the Blu-ray. If you've got the Blu-ray and you want to keep everything to do with this movie, do keep the Blu-ray if you've got it in any shape or form. And you may have the special edition or you might have the, just the regular edition. Keep it for that particular thing because I honestly don't think it's on here. I had a good look on the, the two screens side by side and I could not see that Carlo De Majo, um featurette at all on the new 4K, so you have lost one, if that's important to you. So this is going to take quite a place next to the recently released House by the Cemetery, link down below to the video I did about that one. So these 4Ks look absolutely amazing next to each other. And come on Arrow, you know what we're asking for here, Zombie Flesh Eaters, and also the Beyond to go with these, and that would just be some, some amazing thing to have, because these deserve that UK Arrow treatment. So. That's my views on this. I do think it's a solid upgrade. I'm really happy to get it. The price is all right for 30 pounds. I think you get a lot for it. Do know that you don't get the Blu-ray included in here. I don't know if it's a separate Blu-ray set to this. I'm not too sure about that. I would imagine there is. 
because this looks like it's been given the treatment and but don't discount that previous blu-ray it's not too bad plus it's got that extra featurette which isn't on here at first look but i'm very happy with this and i really want arrow to do the other two fingers crossed because i think it would look absolutely spectacular to have them four the big four lucio falsi masterpieces on 4k in the uk from arrow so thanks for videoing you take care and i'll see you in the next video cheers